Provided the following two roots, let's go ahead and figure out how to come up with a polynomial equation that contains a polynomial function that contains these two roots. So we have x subtract, x subtract. Now inside, I'm going to put in 2 plus 2 squared to 3, 2 minus 2 squared to 3. And I'm going to distribute the negative to have x subtract 2, subtract 2 squared to 3, and do the same with the second, subtract 2 plus 2 squared to 3. And then I'm going to distribute. Each time I distribute this x, I'll have three different terms. So I'm looking for nine different terms before I combine like terms. So here will be the first. I'll, it makes like this rainbow shape. x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2x, and x times this quantity is 2 radical 3x. Okay, we do the same thing now with the negative 2, the negative 2 to each of these three terms. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4 with a radical 3. And finally, I'm going to take this one and do it to all three. So negative 2 radical 3x would be negative 2 radical 3x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 with a radical 3. And this is going to be a negative 2 times a positive 2 is a negative 4. And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 becomes the square root of 9. Well, we know the square root of 9 is really 3. And so this actually is equivalent to negative 12. Okay, let's go through here and see what we have. We should have quite a bit of additive inverses. That means the same numbers, just with different signs. I'll give you an example. Additive inverses, exactly the same, different signs. Additive inverses, exactly the same, different signs. So I'm left with x squared, negative 2x, and negative 2x is negative 4x, and positive 4 minus 12 is negative 8.